Can I just have one person from this side? Uh, yes, please. Please. Uh, well, thank you everyone for taking time out to be with us tonight. Okay, my name is Clara and I'm representing Marua, a Singapore Human Rights Group. So my question is alluding to the first question raised by Harpreet on the roles and powers of the President. So specifically, my question is on the Internal Security Act and it is directed to all the candidates. So the President actually plays a very important role in relation to detention of persons under the ISA. And based on all the evidence today, do you do you think that the detention of the so-called Marxist conspirators in 1987 was justified? And if not, how would you improve the transparency and legitimacy of the detention process if you were the president? Dr. Tan. The case which you were referring to, the detention of the uh, Marxists, I think took place in 87 to 89. At that time, I was Minister for Education. This case was very carefully discussed in Cabinet. But as you know, Cabinet discussions are confidential. They are covered under the Official Secrets Act. So I'm not able to tell you about actually what was discussed. But what I can say is, in my view, the Internal Security Act is a very blunt instrument. It should only be used in the most extreme circumstances when the government feels that they really have got no choice. Terrorism is a fact of life today, and you know it, it is with us. I don't think that there's any point in trying to disguise that. And it comes in many forms, not only with regard to one sector of society, but from sectors of society or countries which you never thought this could happen. Look at Norway. Somebody, Anders Breivik, I think, from the mm. Christian far right, set off a series of bombs, took a gun, killed over 90 people. Would you believe that could happen in Norway? From the Christian far right? The fact of terrorism is with us. When I was coordinating Minister for Security and Defence, I had to deal with this over a wide front. This is modern life. We have to wake up. It can happen anywhere. Tough decisions will have to be made. Unpleasant steps have to be taken. But that's life. And I tell you this, if it can happen in Norway, the most stable, middle class, affluent society that you can imagine, in my view, it can happen anywhere. Thank you. Well, I, I think, yeah, there are, there are threats all over, including terrorism. The question is whether there are any other laws to take care of these acts of terrorism or, or other criminal acts. I believe that the ISA has outlived its usefulness. I, want, I don't even know whether it was justified in the first place because the ISA has been used on political opponents and those who are on the other political side of the law. So the history is such that it has been used for political purposes. I think this is to be fair. When one, when yeah. one says he's used against political opponents, I think this is a very serious charge. Well, you well, must be able to back it up. Well, the people who have been detained have opposed the government. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Have let's they been pro-government? All right. Why don't we move on? No, let's no. No, no, no we, it's clear. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, you, you will have vis, time. Vis no, no, you no. will have time. Hold, sorry. I have been, you, I have been attacked on my understanding of the English language. <laughs> Jise, you will have time later to, no, to bring this no, up. No, 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 Viswa, minutes. let's be fair. What is in his English dictionary about political no. opponent? We will give you the opportunity later. If you don't bring it up, I'll bring it up. Okay. okay to make right, sure right. this issue is not dropped. That's but, very but clear. Stay on track. <laughs> stay on track. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, GC? No? Oh. On this matter? Let's move on. 